Good weekend to you and welcome to Leading Edge. Happy birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, America, on this 4th of July weekend. I'm Jerry Anderson. And while we celebrate our independence, our freedom on this particular weekend, we open Leading Edge this week on a note that's anything but celebratory. Four members of Toledo City Council, fully one third of the local legislative body hauled to federal court. You saw it here on our air in handcuffs this week accused of selling votes on local issues for cash and favors from local citizens. It's called bribery and extortion. Joining me is uh, the chairman of the Lucas County Democratic Party, Michael Ashford. Mr. Ashford, of course, served on city council, served in the Ohio legislature. He ascended way up to a high leadership position in the Democratic caucus while in Columbus. Uh, he's here because all four, four suspected council members are Democrats. And I want to make very clear, we are not convicting anybody today on this program. These folks have their right to due process. They have their day in court. Mr. Ashford, um, good to see you. And I know you've been chairman now for how long? Weeks? Uh, uh, 31 days officially today. Yeah. Welcome to work, as they say. Yeah. Um, how damaging, Michael, um, to the city and its image are the stunning and troubling events of this week? Well, first of all, let me tell you, Jerry, I'm uh, disappointed, yeah. saddened, frustrated, angry, outraged. Uh, when I decided to run for Toledo, I mean, for the chair of Lucas County Democratic Party, I clearly understood that we was going to have to build a new foundation, uh, build an infrastructure, identify good candidates that believe in being a good public servant. But I had no idea it was going to end up like this. And we were ready to, to walk down that path with what, what, what happened in the last week. But I can say and tell you, I think the phone calls that I've received over the last couple of days, that people are stunned and people are outraged because they said they have placed their trust in elected officials. And when you vote for elected official, Jerry, what you're asking them to do is make sure that they protect you, your family, your neighborhood. That means, they vote to put police on the streets. We have enough firefighters. We make sure that our neighborhoods are safe and clean. We make sure that our parks are accessible and we can go there. We live in our community without fear. And what they actually did is that they violated the number one criteria of why you become an elected official. They violated public trust for bribe and extortion. I've been in this in, in, involved in politics for 20 plus years. And I'm gonna sit here and tell you this, Jerry. I've never seen a more egregious act of four people ever in my political career, ever. Wow, uh, I came on and as journalists, we do this because everybody has their day in court. You are flat out saying they did this. By the way, here's here's the statement from the chair this week uh, yeah. that right away uh, really impressed me. I was shocked and upset by today's arrest. And then you, in no uncertain terms, wasted no time in asking for them to step down from council. So did the other party's chairs. So did the president of the city council. So did the mayor of the city. of Doesn't that imply guilt, though? No, it does not imply guilt. What happens is that I was there, Jerry in 06 when McCloskey was on city council. Sure. And when McCloskey was going through his legal issues, it placed a dark cloud over the rest of the city council people. We could not get anything done. We could not vote on anything. People didn't trust us. So in order for the city council, the eight other members, the eight other members to move the city forward, in order for the mayor to move the city forward, in order for the president of city council to move the city forward, People need to have faith in them. And right now, voters and this community is not going to have faith in any of those city council actions as long as they are there. So, yes, we ask for the removal so we can move forward. The other party, as you know, will refer to, and they have. I have their statement sitting right over here, too. Yeah. A long time, quote, culture of corruption under one party rule in Toledo. Replacing these council members is going to make a very large statement, I believe in that regard. Chairman, what will you look for and demand in new members of city council? You know, thank you. That's a very excellent question. But I'm going to be, be, be honest with you. The reason, one of the reasons I ran is because I didn't like the direction where this party was going. And if you look at four 
of the people who have been indicted. I can sit here and honestly tell you, I question two of them, why they are elected officials. They did not get on to serve people. They did not get on for, to take care of your neighborhood. They got on to promote their own agenda and pad their pocket. But moving forward, I'm glad you said that. We're looking for people that understand ethical principles, that has a character, that understand integrity, and has a history of serving in this community. All right. I'm going to take a break because already there's some discussion about how this process should go forward. Mm -hmm. I think the city charter already speaks to that, but I want to hear from the chairman. He is Michael Ashford, chairman, Lucas County Democratic Party. We're going to take a break. We're right back on Leading Edge.